Hi everyone, today I'm going to present you the finite elements analysis. I'm going to show you what it consists in and how it is used. First, I'm going to present you the finite element method, FEM, then I'll go to the finite element analysis, FEA, I'll show you useful softwares to realize FEA, and finally we'll focus on one of them and I'll show you two videos. Finite elements solve by breaking up a problem into small regions, taking into account only the regions that are right next to the one being solved. In the case of magnetic fields, where Fm is often used, the vector potential is what is solved for in these regions. Magnetic fields solutions are derived from the vector potential through differentiating the solution. This can cause problems in smoothness of field solutions. Theoretically, any partial differential equation class of problem can be solved using FEM. Now, let's have a look on advantages and disadvantages. Two advantages are the nonlinear problems which can be easily solved, and easy formulations that allow many different types of problems to be solved. About disadvantages, we have extreme aspect ratios can cause problems, and also fields which can be noisy. Finite element analysis is a computer simulation technique used in engineering analysis. It uses the finite element method to analyze a system. This method consists in representing an object or system by a geometrically similar model composed of multiple, linked, simplified representations of discrete regions. Equations of equilibrium, in conjunction with applicable physical considerations such as compatibility and constitutive relations, are applied to each element and a system is constru constructed. The system of equations is solved for unknown values using the techniques of linear algebra or nonlinear numerical schemes as appropriate. While being an approximate method, the accuracy of FEA can be improved by refining the mesh in the model using more elements and nodes. A common use of FEA is for the determination of stresses and displacements in mechanical objects and systems. It can also be used in heat transfers, fluid dynamics and electromagnetism as we are going to see. FEA methods is generally composed of three phases. Pre-processing, which defines the finite element models and environmental factors to be applied to it. The analysis solver. Thanks to it, we find a solution of finite element model and finally the post-processing of results using visualization tools. Here you can see different companies who developed software using FEA like ANSYS, CEDRA, ABACUS, LSDYNA and we're going to focus on integrated engineering software who developed a tool called ELECTRO. We're going to see two videos that shows how we can use FEA to modelize electromagnetic systems. Thank you. Who took the bomb?